Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, we are talking about mage builds for Phase 4 of Season of Discovery. Shout out to the Legend Simonize for this video format. I'm going over builds for leveling, dungeons, and raid DPS. Starting with talents, for dungeon leveling, I recommend two specs. If your group isn't doing big Blizzard AoE pulls, this will be the ideal spec for leveling. With Master of Elements and Blade of Eternal Darkness, you should be able to chain living bombs like crazy. If you are missing Blade, you can opt for clear casting instead of cold snap. For runes, we are keeping things pretty standard. If your group wants more off healing and support, you can swap Burnout for Regeneration and Hot Streak for Advanced Warding. Not only does the new Advanced Warding let you put Mana Shield on your allies, but it also gives mages a magic to spell, which can be huge if your group is lacking one. For my off spec, I will be bringing Frost spec for Blizzard. BRD still has anti-dungeon boosting, so it's not likely we do Blizzard pulls there. The level 60 dungeons on the PTR didn't have anti-boosting, so it's possible I am doing Blizzard focus pulls later on. More than likely, I will be fire all the way to 60 though. This frost spec is also good if you're wanting to solo ZF until 54, and then AoE farm in the open world until 60. Speaking of 60, let's dive into fire. This is our highest DPS spec and what I assume most people will be playing in raids. Cold snap is fantastic since we run icy veins. Frost channeling will be very nice for bale firebolt and frost firebolt. Here are the runes, and yes, we are using bale firebolt now. For our new back rune, we are using overheat. For our rotation, you will precast Pyroblast on pull. Build Scorch until 5 stacks, and then cast Balefire Bolt until 9 stacks. Frostfire Bolt as filler until Balefire Bolt stacks drop, then repeat. During this time, weave in Hot Streak procs and spam Fire Blast on cooldown with Overheat. As of right now, it looks better to just spam it on cooldown. Icy Veins after Scorches are applied. Remember to use Cold Snap to refresh your Icy Veins if you want additional uses. Onto Frost, it is doing a bit less DPS than Fire, but if your raid has 3 or more mages, you will runt a Frost for Winter's Chill. Here are the talents. Level 60 allows us to go deeper into Fire which helps a bit. It also enables us to get improved Scorch. Onto Runes, Frost is a bit awkward right now. Currently, on single target, Ice Lance and Frozen Orb are a DPS loss. This makes the rotation a little more boring than Fires. Deep Freeze performs better than Overheat with Hot Streak as Frost right now. The rolls. Okay, this is our builds for level 60. In general, I am very hyped for Phase 4. With no anti-boosting in level 60 dungeons and the state of Fires rotation, I am super excited to level. Stay tuned for tomorrow as I'll be going over pre-bis and bis guides for level 60. I will also be live streaming the launch of Phase 4. Come hang out. I'll be live on YouTube and Twitch. Like, subscribe, and see you at 60, boys.